We are back in it with the Zaki and Blounds, and we had to take one mulligan. It looks like we're going up against water, just based off of his deck and stuff like that. I think I saw water when I was looking at the preview screen, so I think it's going to be Moth. Very interesting matchup, considering that we are going to be the one taking the weakness here. Yep. Moth, it's, it's Moth with the Dawn Wings Necrozma. So we got ourselves a really good hand here, though, because we got the Welder, got the Quick Ball, got the Flint. Uh, so we got the Jirachi active as well. This is all good. Ooh, and we drew the Blounds. We don't even have to. We don't even have to worry about it. Go Quick Ball. Gonna grab the Zacian. Play that. Gonna do that. One, two. Grab four energy. Then I'm gonna welder. Right there. Draw four. Beautiful. Got the welder for next turn. I'm gonna do that. Then I'm gonna stellar wish for fiery flint. Mm, yeah, fiery flint. Then I'm going to Zaki and V. Ooh, good draws there. All three of those are excellent draws. Uh, Andy plays the Viridian Forest for us. How too kind. Oh, catcher. Whiffed. So now he's got the Frost Moth. Discard for the other energy. With a quick ball. With the dead A. Interesting, he didn't just go for the manual attach. Oh, retrieval. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So he's going to attach both of them onto the Keldeo here, and then he's going to go and do his dead A play. All right. Five energy, which is, in my opinion, that's really unnecessary. <laughs> like, he only needs to attach three to this thing. Another catcher. This he still fails, man. Cat, you bad. You bad, bro. <laughs> Just rig your coin flips next time, Kappa. Alright, so he's gonna have another Keldeo V. And he is going to take knockout here for 200 damage. Dang. That's all going away real shortly, though. Ooh, and we top deck Rosa. Mmm. 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 That's, that's nice. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the Verdant Forest here. I'm going to grab an energy. And I'm going to retrieval. Now we're going to Rosa, grabbing a Blacephalon. Ooh, do I have, I have the, do I not have the other piece of catcher? No, I don't. All right, so I'm going to have to do heat, do heat factory, and I'm also going to do an energy. Play that. Play the heat factory. Yeah, we'll discard because we can always just uh, search out. Oh, we got it anyway. And we got a catcher. That's nice. All right. So there's our five energy. We're going to play Corio. Draw with Oracorio. That just brilliant. Bang, 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 bang. Big stonks here. Huge stonks. Look at this hand, yo. This hand is incredible. Play the Jirachi down. And then, I'm a Fireball Circus. Couldn't find Lucky Egg, but it doesn't even seem like we needed it. 
There we go. Just take knockout there. 250 damage and two prizes. Just as easy as you like. Ultra space and another Blacephalon. Not the best of prizes to grab, but that's all right. At least we're going to... We're going to at least limit him in his use of Viridian Forest, which is nice. Because if we're going to get the assist off Viridian Forest, and then we're also going to just slap down Ultra Space so that he has to find another one. That's pretty nice. All right, so it goes for the Pokecom, Dead A. All right, all right, Dead A. All right, then he's going to Ice Dance here. seems like he found enough energy which is really unfortunate because yeah it's really unfortunate because that means we're not going to be able to we're not going to be able to Rosa which is what I really wanted to do I wanted to Rosa and kill Frostmoth but beggars can't be choosers I suppose I guess we're gonna get the Placephalon do that get the welder play Draw three. And hand attach. Get that one. One, two, three. Hit that one. One, two. Heat factory. One, two, three. Or Corio. One, two, three. <laughs> Like, look how nutto that can get. I still didn't draw any of my catchers, by the way. I just want to point that out. Um, that's wonderful. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So that's knockout. All right, I will lay another one down. Then we're going to Fireball Circus. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and we take another two prizes here. Hopefully we can pull that, that prized catcher out. And that would be nice. So we, oh, a nice fire crystal. Quick ball. So none of those are catcher. <laughs> and now he's going to move in with this. I don't know what his response to this is going to be. Nah, big sad. No attackers. Yeah, he just scoops it up. That's it, boys. Clap them. Doesn't matter. Weakness, who cares? Did it. And that's it, boys. That's Zaki and Blounds. Now, onto the deck list. All right, boys. We are back. We got ourselves the Zaki and Blounds deck list here. We go straight in. We got the four baby Blacephalon with the Fireball Circus, discarding energy and just doing insane nutto amounts of damage. Then you got the Victini, so when all those energy on the discard pile, you stack two energy onto this Victini here, and you just put all your energy back. Now, 13 energy in the deck, this attack maxes out at 220, which is very good. And of course, we got the three Jirachis with the Stellar Wish. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory there. It's a great card. Then you got the one Zacian V. Now you're thinking, well, Derek, you can't attach energy to it. That's not the point. You just want to draw the cards. It's the only reason why Zacian's in the deck is to draw cards. Because Blacephalon's first turn attack eh, is not great. Blazer, honestly. And the options on turn one are kind of mediocre. So a lot of times what you're going to end up doing on your first turn, going second, unless you can score a knockout on something really, really big, like a three prize attacker, what you're generally going to be doing is you're going to be leaving Jirachi active, just setting up your hand for the next turn, and then playing Zaki and V. And the thing is, is people are probably going to want to reset Stamp you or hit you with the Marnie or something like that, which is A-OK, -okay, because you're still getting four cards back. Or, of course, you're going to get six cards back with the reset stamp, so it's not a big deal. And, of course, you can just Zaki in again if you have to. Or if they take Knockout, you play Oricorio, and you draw three cards, you're going to go up to eight eight because you're going to get the four at, at the worst case scenario you're going up to eight because if they marnie you're going to four and then you get the draw for turn five or choreo six seven eight so you're still getting a pretty thick hand and that's if you don't have lucky egg on the thing they knocked out because if you have lucky egg on the thing you knocked out whoa, you're going to go up to 11 cards which is really nice so you're always going to have a big hand regardless i guess is my point got the mew here for the bench barrier 
just helps out the peak raw matchup got the Fion here helping out with the goons matchup and that rounds out the pokemon lineup we've got the four custom catcher in my opinion this is superior than running any other of the catchers for this deck then you got the three energy retrievals and the four fire crystals to be able to get back all your energy as well as max consistency on the fiery flint so we can get the energy out of the deck ASAP. And you do all these things, you sequence it well, you just pull your energy out before you use things like Jirachi or using things like Oracoria. and just makes your draw that much better. And again, it makes your hand just super fat and always able to just make plays. Then you got the two switches and four quick ball, you know, four quick balls for the consistency switching, you know, two switches, two skateboards to pair with the three Jirachi. Very good idea indeed. We've got the one Heat Factory. Again, just lets us draw even more cards. Three Ultra Space. Again, super consistency here. We've got two Rosa. So Rosa's actually super good because inevitably you're going to get knocked out. Things are going to get knocked out in the game. And because you draw through your deck so fast, you're going to see a Rosa at some point. And it's just a matter of whether you already have a Blacephalon set up. If you have another Blacephalon set up and then you, you can just Rosa, get that last little bit of energy, or you can set up a Welder for next turn. It's a very versatile card and just helps with consistency that much more. Of course, you got the four Welder because, you know, Welder.deck. Got the two Escape Board and the two Lucky Eggs. Round out the list. Got 13 Fire Energy. Now I want to show you a slightly different variation of the list if you don't want to play the custom catchers. You can still play catcher. I, I just think the catcher is better. Um, but if you want to fit in other things, you absolutely can fit them in here. You've got the one great catcher. So you still have gusting and the two discard isn't a big deal because your hand's always going to be so big. You also got the two or two. You got the one ordinary rod. Because, you know, that's the one weakness of my deck is that if I prize a clown or if I need to discard him for any reason, it's just harder for me to play because I can run out of attackers. Now, Rod helps it so you don't run out of attackers. But I feel that the gusting effect you get off of the custom catchers is just way better and it makes your goons matchup much more manageable than this list here. That's my main reasoning for doing that. But there's still great high validity of playing an ordinary Rod. You also have one pal pad, the same reasoning. You put your supporters back because you kind of get stuck if you can't welder. So being able to put your supporters back is nice. And then they also have a one extra fire energy to round out the lists. So here we go. You can check out both deck lists in the description down below. So well, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And if you're new around here and you like what you saw, please make sure you hit the subscribe button or follow us up on Twitch. The name of our Twitch channel is above my head, as well as, of course, in the description down below. Until next time, this has been Derek for Table 500, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.